What is up guys, Rob here at Bob Evans Classics. If you like classic cars, please hit the subscribe button. You can see all of our new inventory as we get in every week, and you can watch me and Chris go out and chase classic cars. Please subscribe today. We'll see you then. Let's go. What is up guys, Rob here at Bob Evans Classics. Got a truck up for sale today for you. We're gonna do a full walkthrough so you know exactly what you get before you get it. We're gonna go over the good, the bad, and the ugly. Guys, if you like classic cars, please hit the subscribe button. We get new cars in every day, just like this Roadrunner. Hit the subscribe, hit notifications on. This way you can see all of our classic cars as we get them in. Now go ahead and hit that subscribe button, guys. This way you can see all of our inventory. We ship all over the US and worldwide. Ship it right to your doorstep. We have an easy process online. We do everything digitally and then ship out the car. Or you can come in person. We're near the Trenton Mercer Airport in New Jersey. We are on the outskirts of Philadelphia in Bucks County, Pennsylvania. Let's go ahead and get started. 1986 Chevy C10. Nice boxy truck, short wheelbase. Short bed in the back. It's got a V8 350. It's got a nice cam to the engine, which I will start it up. You guys can hear it. Automatic transmission. Sitting on these 20 inch wheels. Black with the beige interior. This is a Southern truck, so it's rust free. Came from the great state of Alabama. We'll start with the paint. As you can see, the paint's got a pretty decent reflection on it. You can see the lights up top. If we go down here and look at our reflection, you can see me well in it. You can make out my face. I'm gonna probably say the paint is about 7.5 or an 8 out of 10. It is black, so black does show a lot. It's been painted at some point. I would probably say within maybe the first three, four years. It doesn't look that old paint. You can see some imperfections in the paint here. You can see some sand marks a little bit right here. This would be a nice candidate to do a cut and buff. This vehicle has not been polished. It's a very solid looker. Uh, I would say probably like a two foot looker. I mean, you could get up on it, it looks good. I mean, even at close, unless you're looking for a show truck, this wouldn't be it, but this is a, a pretty nice truck. You can see the reflection good. The paint shines very well in it. Going to flaws, we'll get our light on. This fender really doesn't have any flaws besides some uh, water stains in it. Again, it needs a, a nice polish. It looks like here where the radio antenna was, that is not there anymore. No bubbling here or anything. This side, we're missing this here. This chrome is in decent shape. It looks to be original. You do have these seals that need to be replaced. Glass has no cracks on it. A couple little scratches on the glass. Again, this seal as well. Looks good. I don't see anything there. Little, little wear on here. But looks good. I see what looks like a little bit of body work it's had right here. You can see a little imperfection on the lower rocker. Back of the bed looks good. I don't notice any scratches. I would recommend replacing these. They work, but 
they are outdated. Or at least get the clear to shine back on them, maybe put some clear paint over them. But they're easier enough just to pull out and replace. It's kind of what I would recommend. So this side of the, the truck is in good shape. I don't see any visible flaws. I see nothing standing out as far as the paint. I don't see anything crazy. The wheels also are in really good shape. I don't see any curb rash or anything. I would say tires at 50%. You'd probably get a season or two out of the tire in the front. Rear tires the same. Now this does have some pitting here. You see a little bit on it. Looks like you got drum brakes on this. Let's see in the front. Front got disc. So disc in the front, drums in the rear. Now the chrome is in good shape. That looks like new chrome. I don't see any flaws there. Tailgate looks good. Looks like you got a, a rhino liner back here. There's a paint, it looks like it's painted on. Truck's got a nice look to it, guys. Real, real solid look. Nice, I would put a nice cover back here. I think you put a nice cover, it'll really make it look like a nice truck. I don't know how I feel about the wheels. I like them and I don't. At the same time, I think I go with a more classic look and put like Kragers or something, maybe a white wall, and then go ahead and put this tunnel cover on it. I think that would make the truck really stand out and really look nice. It is a nice truck the way it sits though. Going to this part of the cab, or uh, the rear of the truck, rear quarter. I don't see anything here, no known flaws. A little bit of sand marks here you can see. I don't know if you can see that on. It's not terrible. But yeah, I don't see any major flaws on the body. This tire, same scenario probably get a season out of them they like to rust out right here I see a little bit of body work that was done there it looks like the rest of the cab looks straight we'll give it our beautiful door test that's shut really good try it a little bit lighter and it's still shut really good now you can see this line is not the straightest. Over here it's a little bit wide, wide, and then it goes narrow as you go down. So just keep that in mind. Let's see this gap, this gap is better. Under the door, I don't see any visible flaws. Same thing with the dry rot here. But you can see the body line looks pretty straight on it. Going to this fender, no visible flaws. Tire the same thing. Got a little skull there, that's pretty cool. This tire, this rim is in better shape than the rear. Moving on, this has got a little pitting on it. The front chrome. So the rear chrome was probably replaced at some point. I think what I would also do to make this a cool truck is replace this or paint this like a matte black give it that matte black look and then get a, a gloss black emblem i think that would make it look really cool maybe put some hids i don't know what do you guys think would you keep it original or soup it up a little bit so to speak moving back on i know we started over here but we're gonna also check the gaps here they look way better and yes, this door definitely looks better. You can tell that other door had some, uh, it used to, you know, they used it a lot, closing it, open it, just because the gap was off. And one thing I see, the jams, whoever painted this truck did not do the jams. This looks like more of an original paint in it compared to this, or at least older paint. The door closes good. A solid looking truck let's climb under it all 
Now you can even make off the VIN number here on the frame. And this is what this truck stands out at. This is a clean, clean truck. Nothing, zero rust at all. Our light is dying out, so I'll see if it'll turn back on for the other side. And then we'll check out the rear end. Extremely clean underneath. That's the highlight of this truck is how clean it is underneath, no rust at all. There's your rear end. Bam. Take a quick peek inside. Door panel seems to be in good shape. Definitely needs a detail. We will have the vehicle detail before it leaves. Seat belt has a little wear on it. The seat is in really good shape. It's definitely been reupholstered. Looks too nice. On the inside, the horn does not work. The AC does not blow cold. Dash pad's in good shape. They got the skulls up here, which is pretty cool. Looks like it's painted on. We're showing 28,533 miles, so I'm gonna assume 128 is the mileage. Three fifty. It's cammed up, straight piped headers. Yeah, this thing is fast. It's loud. It sounds good. When we go for the test drive, which is going to be the next video, make sure you subscribe so you can see the test drive. But this thing gets up and boogies. I can tell you that. Let's see if it'll start right up. We'll give it one, two. Let's just try it like that. Try it again. One, two. Wait a second. Pump it a little more. There she goes. It sounds good, it's loud. It's a nice looking truck. Definitely a window tint would make it look really nice. You do a few little minor things to this truck and you got a really nice truck here, guys. Look how smooth that engine is. We're in having a nice cam in it. It's not running crazy. It's got a nice little cam in it. Not too radical. Power steering. Up for sale now at BobEvansClassics.com. Give us a call or go on our website, guys, if you're interested. You can reach me directly at 215-801-9493. Again, 215-801-9493. You'll reach no salespeople and you'll deal directly with me. Appreciate you checking out the page. God bless the USA. Hit the subscribe button, guys. I'll talk to you later. Follow the next video for the test drive. It's coming up right now.